in NLS account. Uh, most people don't, but if you go onto NLS and log in, you can log in and get your own account. And all that does is it just sort of, um, it just gives you little warnings now and then. I just, like years ago, I had a, like a little dairy heifer at home and she carved, and I remember a bloke from Binaway come across. These fellas come from Binaway, he'd come across and he, well, he pushed her on a horse float and he, he took it for a milking cow. You wouldn't make any credit. The other day I got an NLS account and it said that a warning, someone had sold a, a cow that was on my pick. I'm thinking, that's funny. And anyway, I, when I looked into it and rang up the agent, it was this, this heifer that I'd sold 10 years ago. He, he'd sent it back in the say yard and it had never been transferred onto his pick, pick number. And it was still on my pick number, but he had actually sold it and had picked it up. So the systems, they, they do work. And it was quite interesting how it, I thought, oh, that's that old cow that I sold. Yeah, so when you're buying, selling stock, if you're buying stuff from the sale yards or from a stud sales, they will transfer it for you. But say these things on Gumtree, like if you buy something off Gumtree, um, auctions plus, auctions plus things, you, you need to transfer them yourself. So it's up to the buyer, the purchaser, to put them onto your pick. Yeah. 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 Um, optional documents, travelling stock statement book, um, this is called a TSS book. I know a bloke the other day came in and he was going to move some horses and, and, and he just kept that in his truck and he just fills it out. I know a few years back, um, I'm trying to think how long it was, maybe five or six years ago, there was a bloke coming into Dubbo from out west and he had a trailer with a few feral goats in it and the police pulled him up and wanted to know where his paperwork was and they booked him and he came into our work and, geez, he give us a serve, you bastards. I think, what? Yeah, so... The idea of the TSS stock, it's just, it's a proof of, of ownership. Yeah, so say if you haven't got it, normally if you buy stock off someone, if you buy some sheep or some cattle or goats off someone, ask for an NVD, like a statement, and that way then you've got a, it's, it's, that's sort of this proof of ownership. So, And the animal health statement, or sorry, the animal health statement, the, like even like Archie said, buyer security, I mean, it's about buyer security now. If, you, if, you, if you're buying stock, even if you go to the sale yard, you're buying stock, ask for animal health statement. If they're not willing to give you one, you think, well, what's wrong with like, you know, it'll just tell you when, they, when they've given it a drench last, whether they've got lice, whether they've got, you've checked them for foot, right, that sort of stuff. It just gives you a bit of peace of mind, it does so. Basically, 